many of you are planning to go away to school? I'm not sure. Okay, most of you. Okay, so if you read the blurb in your book, it says, two covers are more. They devote their life to Malama the Aina, that's care for the land, Kokua Kekani Kekani, help one another, and spread aloha among all the people in Africa. So attend this workshop to experience the culture of Hawaii and understand the beauty of the place <coughs> when you're there. Okay, she put all of the handouts together. So I, I'm not going to give you the cockroach quiz that I was going to give you. Um, but I'm, you're going to get it, okay, in a handout. So maybe I'll just read it and you answer me. And let's start that way. Cockroach is another term for rip off, nibble, make out, or hit. Rip off. Yeah, you cockroach something like a cockroach going to take your skin. Okay? How about a puka? A puka is a fish, a star, a curve, or a hole. Oh, okay. Got that one. The other time means once before, milking time, once upon a time, or what's the time? The other time. The first one, which means once before. Okay, you know, it happened the other time. Okay, Hana butter refers to oh. butter made from Hana Maui. A game, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I get it. I get it. A game to decide who goes first. Drew from one's mouth, excretion from one's nose. Excretion. <laughs> the nose, Hana butter. Okay, that's why we call it Hana butter babies. Because when us old folks were little, when you had a runny nose, you just a wipe them like that, and wipe them on your clothes. Okay, what? Me. It's a term used to ask if there is meat in your sandwich, <laughs> if you raise cattle, if you want to fight, or another to ask another individual if they want to work out. <laughs> yes. Yes. Scrap. Scrap, you want to fight. Hemo your jacket means put it on, bring it, zip it, or take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Choke, clothes, refers to Smoky clothes, lots of clothes, nice clothes, or clothes that are too tight. Lots of, lots of, lots of clothes. If you live on the Makai side of the street, then your home is probably toward ocean. ocean. Okay. If a student tells you Bombay I go in, he wants to be a bum for a while. <laughs> he wants to leave later on. He is probably Chinese or he is confused. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go later. Stink eye. Oh, oh. Is that the kind your mother gives you when you did something wrong? Oh. It's another term for pink eye. It's mucus running from your eye. It's a <laughs> now this, is, this one is good. It's a stare that shows one's discontent. It's a perverted man who looks at women in. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? Third one. Third one. It's a stare that shows you're not happy. Okay, now the next, the last three are true or false. Being hapa is when a woman is pregnant. Oh. Oh. What is when she's pregnant? Oh. Hapa, because hapa means to carry. When making the shaka, the back of your hand is facing in. True or false? Oh. Usually it's this way, the back of your hand is facing in. Okay, locals will most likely say, pasta soy sauce instead of pasta shoy. Pasta shoy. Okay, so this is called an assessment of local expertise, the Aole Quisa quiz, okay? And we, we, it, this has been around forever, but Dr. Kimo Alameda fixed it for us when he was doing a presentation to our brand new teachers. Okay, so the first couple things we're gonna talk about is stuff to make you think about. And the reason you have a paper and pencil is this. I like this term, um, where I live, there are rainbows, okay? Who are the rainbows? Where we live? Who? Look at the second point. All of you. Why are you all? Sorry, am I in the way? Uh, okay, this is not ideal here. Um, why are you the rainbows of this land? You're all different. You're all different. <laughs> but you have one thing in common. You live in Hawaii. You grew up local. So. You are the people to pass on the aloha, okay? Um, knowing who you are and where you come from are basic to your self-esteem. So you need to know who you are. 
Do all of you know your grandparents' names? Yes. First names? Yes. Do you know your great grandparents' names? Yes. yes. One of them. The one? <laughs> some do, some don't. Okay. Why why is this important? Do you know your genealogy? What's genealogy? Huh? Yeah, your ancestors and stuff. Okay. At the end of this the stuff, I'm gonna give you my email address. Ma did not want to run all this off because she knew everybody wasn't gonna be interested in it. But I have like forms so that you can try starting to do your genealogy. Why is it important for you to know who your parents and your grandparents and your great grandparents are? You can talk about it too because that affects, it can affect who you are today. Sure, it affects who you are today. So that's the last one. We look to the past to find our future. How many of you had grandparents or great grandparents that grew up on the plantation or worked on the plantation? That's a big influence on their lives. The values that they learn passed on to you. And I'm going to go over values in a minute. They all have Hawaiian labels, but they're universal values. They have Hawaiian labels because I I taught Hawaiian for 30 years, Hawaiian language and Hawaiian studies at Waiakea High School, at Hilo High School, at Kohala High School. So everything I'm going to tell you applies to every ethnic group, but because I, I now do training with Kamehameha and the DOE for new teachers, cultural training, so that they become ma'a or used to our children and how our children grew up and why they behave in certain ways. Okay, so know your ancestors and know where they come from. So I have a form that I could email to you. It has how you put the genealogy. It has the terms in Hawaiian for the different members of your family. So if you are interested, email me and you can have, I will email you a copy of this. Okay. No matter what your ethnicity, you are a child of the land if you were born and raised here. Most of our ancestors came from another land to work here. How many of you are Hawaiian, native Hawaiian? Okay, if you are native Hawaiian, then you are the Kanaka Maori or the true people. That's what they call it. We're all Hawaiian, like we're People from Alaska are all Alaskans, but the native people there are called Alaska natives. We're called, the local people, the natives here are called Native Hawaiian. The Indians are called Native American, but the Alaskans have chosen to call themselves Alaska natives, okay? So those are the people who are indigenous to that place. The first people who came there. Um, carbon dating, which is a way of determining when people were there, because it comes from the charcoal in fires, um, shows that the first fire that was set here in a regular fireplace was in 100 AD, down at Waiahukini in Kabu. So this island was the first island populated. Okay, um, Pidgin. Pidgin is a language, you know. It's called a Creole language. Why do we have, why do we have Pidgin? <coughs> That's right, so people could talk to each other. So the, the basis of pidgin is the Hawaiian language. You know, you say, um, oh, where you live? The intonation is the whole, the intonation that is used in the Hawaiian language. It's a different intonation from other languages. Okay, on your piece of paper, if you look after, okay, pidgin follows Hawaiian, you represent, okay, when you go away to the mainland, even if you're not blood Hawaiian, they're gonna think you're from, you're Hawaiian, because you're from Hawaii. So at the end of our thing today, we're gonna learn one little simple hula, okay? So that, because I bet you money when you go away, they're gonna ask you to dance hula. Yes. Especially if you go into a Hawaiian club and you have a luau, yeah, most of the universities West Coast, all luau, and all the legal parents could be scrambling for poi and for pig and all of that to send up to you or to pick up to you. Because, I mean, it's been going on forever. So, just a short little hula. Okay, you represent Hawaii wherever you go. Tell me, not in your own ethnicity, but what customs do you know, three, in Hawaii from other ethnic groups? No, I want you to write it down. It's for you, not for me. Then you can tell me at least one. <laughs> 
Okay, she did say one, and that's a good example. You don't wear slippers in the house. Okay, so just think of three for yourself. Uh, if you didn't get a paper and pen, pen she has some more. Remember now, not from your own ethnicity, from others. Can you close the door in the back? Okay, let's let's hear some that's not from your ethnicity. Anybody? I'm sorry? Giving lay, okay. That's a Hawaiian custom. He's on the cheek. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Um, I would say mochi pangi. I would say what else? Poppy fried crackers, Chinese New Year. Oh, you're Chinese. You can't say that. Okay. So those are customs we know from other ethnicities because, especially from the plantation camps, we all did for each other. Do you know why Danny Noe gives so much money to Native Hawaiians? His mother, sorry, his mother was an orphan on Kauai. A Hawaiian family there took her in and raised her. They had very little of anything, but they shared everything with her. They took her in as a dog. He explained this to us one time. That's why he'll find any kind of federal money he can for Native Hawaiians, because they were good to his mother. Excuse me. Okay. Hawaii, the place and the people of Hawaii influence how you behave. Your family customs and the influences of Hawaii shape and will continue to shape your behavior no matter what your ethnicity. Okay, that's something you need to think about. Even though you are not a native, even though you're not a Kanaka Maori, you are a Kekioka Aina or a child of this land. Okay. Ike Piko. I'm going to, I have brochures for something called Nine Ala Ike or pathways. They are what we're using in Hawaii as a parameter for schools to have safe learning environments. But these are things that are found in every culture. Say, say with me, Ike. Piko. Piko. Again, Ike. Ike. Piko. Piko. What is the important part of this? Promoting personal growth, development, and self-worth to support a greater sense of belonging, compassion, and service towards oneself, one's family, and one's community. Isn't that what Kick Club is all about? Okay, so that's your personal self-esteem and growth so that you can serve others. The next one is very, very important in Hawaii, and it's Ike Pilina. Say Ike, Ike. Pilina. Pilina. Okay, Ike is to see, Ike is knowledge. Okay, so Ike Pilina. Pilina means relationships. Hawaii is a relationship kind of place. Okay, we always have to know who you are, where you come from, and that sets up a relationship between us. All right, I, I won't go into the rest. Okay, so read for me the bottom part, nurturing. Everybody. Nurturing, respectful, and responsible relationships that connect us to Akua, Aina, and each other through sharing of history, genealogy, and language and culture. Okay, that's why history, genealogy, language, and culture are so important. What is Akua? God. God. What is Aina? Land. Land. Okay, so the Hawaiians have what they call Lokahi. And what Lokahi is, is I make a triangle, spirituality or God, nature, and man. If you have those three things in balance, you have Lokahi, which is harmony. Okay? So that is important to be always in harmony. Now the last one I want to talk to you about now is called Ike Ponua. What is Ike? Say Ike. Ike Ponua. Ponua. Ponua is land, the earth, a place. Okay, we are very connected to our place. And the, um, what we envision for all of our people is demonstrating a strong sense of place. What this does is it includes a commitment to preserve the del delicate balance of life and to protect it for generations to come.
And isn't that part of, again, of what you do? Is it EKP Mina or relationships part of what you do? Okay, another three things. Either you can write it down or you can just tell me. What three things make you who you are? Hair. What? My hair. Your hair, okay. <laughs> Anything else? My heart. Your heart. <laughs> Whoa, okay, we're getting deep now. <laughs> <laughs> what else makes you who you are? How come you're who you are? Why do you behave the way you do? You were in K family for so long, okay? So you yes. have a certain way to behave, yeah. right? So our place, our people, our relationships, they all make us who we are, always. Why do we ask each other for family names? You can tell some about how they were brought up, but what else? Ethnicity, but what else? I'm sorry? If you're related, we all want to be related to each other. Okay, we were someplace last night and it was, okay, what's that guy's last name? Because once I know his last name, I know who his family is and I know where he's from, especially on this island. Yeah? Kauai must be even more Molokai and Lanai. You probably are related, just like how we say everybody in Kaukaha is related. Okay? And you know what? Sometimes they are. Okay. Um, so that's why we ask who your relatives are. Now, why do we ask where you grab from? Why? It's like if you graduate from this school, somebody else can get closer to that. Okay, but also what else? If you grab from, if I, if you tell me you grab from HPA, what is my impression? Ramea, rich. Ramea, rich. Okay, like if we were on Oahu. And somebody said, oh, I'm a Kamehameha grad. Oh, yeah. I'm a certain, <laughs> what you call it, Okay, when somebody says, I'm from Punahou, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but guess what? We have a Punahou guy in the White House, right? So anybody can do anything, no matter what you are, as long as you know who you are. Okay. Now, what I'm going to go over with you are these things. Now, vai vai are the values. Alakaina is leadership. And olelo noe are wise sayings. So, this is going to screw me up. I have to pass out the handout. But you got to promise me you're not going to go first page. Okay. Can you help pass out? You need to look, go straight to the second page. Okay? Go straight to the second page. Promise, don't look at the first page. Okay. 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 After that, after we do the values, we're going to learn uh, the eight islands. We're going to learn the hula. We're not going to have time for the language, but I tell you what, I have a huge handout that the DOE gives to brand new teachers. It's got the most fun stuff in it, and we'll go over it in a bit. Okay, leadership qualities and why say? Did you give up the calm one? Yeah. Okay, everybody's on the second page. <coughs> now, when we talk about these leadership qualities, you guys are all leaders, okay? We use these with adults, with administrators, because this is what you need to have to be a good leader. Say malama. 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 What does that mean? Care. You gotta care about what you're doing, okay? Let me read you the Olelo no Oyao. You've heard of Olelo no Oyao or wise sayings? You know, like Confucius says, in Hawaiian, Mary Kavena Puku, he wrote a book, and it has almost 2,500 wise sayings the Hawaiians used to use. So this first one is malama ike kanaku iki or meke kanaku nui. Care for the little man and the big man. So you don't only be nice to the important people, you be nice to everybody. What is ha'a ha'a? Say ha'a ha'a. Ha'a Okay, you cannot be um, out there boasting. So for ha'a ha'a, it's kuia kahele akana'au, na'akana'au ha'a ha'a. 
Hesitant walks the humble hearted. So if you're humble, you're not out there pushing yourself or whatever, you're humble, you're a servant. Leaders are actually servants. Kupono is what? You know, we say pono all the time. Pono is to be righteous. That's when you have integrity, when you do what is right. Another quality of leaders is not awao. And what is that? Intelligence. Intelligence, okay? You wouldn't be a leader if you weren't intelligent. And some of you have wisdom already. Some of you need to gain more experience to be wise. And that olelo no eao is aohe pau ka ike kaha lau ko okahi. All knowledge is not taught in one school. So you're not going to, high school isn't it. Life experience is going to be a, a much more uh, important teacher than any of your teachers ever are. They will teach you basics. They will teach you good stuff. But na'awo is your intelligence. You also need koa, and that is? Courage. A canoe steersman for a stormy day is somebody who has courage. <laughs> okay, so koa is courage. What is loko maikai? Generosity. Generosity. You need to be generous. Ho o he o pu ali. Have the kindness and generosity and even temper of a chief. Okay, ho o kipa is? Holo i a kapapa kau i a kamandu. When the shoals are full of fish, birds gather over them. So in other words, you need to be hospitable to everybody that you come into contact with. And aloha, there are 123 meanings of aloha. Okay, beloved, hello, goodbye, I love you. Many, many meanings, but aloha is, a, is what we say we are, the aloha state, right? And that is all of the above things that we talked about. So this one, aloha kikahi, kikahi, you already know that. It means to love one another. And wa'ola no ikapane ake aloha. There is life in a kind in reply. There's a, there's a saying that goes beyond this, and it's ika olelo keola, ika olelo kamake. Words can bring life, and words can bring death. So what you say is very, very important. The last one is olu olu. I mean, the second to the last one, olu olu, which means? Crazy. And then mana is? Spirituality, power, and authority. So let's say all the words. Say them after me. Malama. Malama. Ha'a ha'a. Ha'a. Kupono. Kupono. Na'au. Na'au. Koa. Koa. Lokumaika'i. Lokumaika'i. Ho'okipa. Ho'okipa. Holo, I'm sorry. Aloha. Aloha. Olu olu. Olu olu. And mana. Mana. Okay. I had such pretty pictures for it, but because we went through the list, I didn't do the pretty pictures. Now I made this, this, you guys are gonna laugh, I made this parkour all by myself. It's the first one I ever did from scratch, and it's crazy. Okay, where, it took me hours, it should have, would have taken you folks maybe 10 minutes. Okay, where we live, there are rainbows, why? Because we all are rainbows, okay? So when you are in um, South Africa sweltering in the heat, or when you are in um, Alaska dying in the cold, just remember, think, of the rainbows in Hawaii. Okay, so we're gonna put that paper down and get into groups uh, by each row is fine. And I'm going to give you answer these questions. Only among your group. Answer these questions. <laughs> Let's see if you know all perfect. Let's see if you know all these things. Answer your question. Spelling don't count today. Okay, spelling doesn't count. Just get the answers right. Okay, now go to the first page of your handout. Oh, I love
<laughs> some of the answers are there, some are not. Tell me how many you got correct. Some answers are not here. Okay, when I ask the question, the group who had that question, please answer. The state flower is? Hibiscus. Hibiscus. The state bird is? Nene. The state tree is? Kukui. The state fish is? Okay, everybody see it. Humu humu. Nuku nuku. Apua'a. And what is that? Okay, it's called Pua is a pig because it has a snout like a pig. Okay, and it's one of the body forms of the pig god Kamapua. And if we had time, I would tell you that legend. Okay, but it's a pig fish. The state marine mammal? The whale, Kohola, the humpback whale. And the state render, the mammal is? Monk seal. State nickname. Aloha State. State anthem. State motto. Okay, so isn't that what just what we've been talking about? The life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. Okay, two official state languages. Hawaiian and English. Okay, Hawaiian was made a state language, I think, back in 76 or something. Because back in the late 1800s, people were forbidden to speak Hawaiian because they wanted to Americanize everybody. The state climate is? What ocean are we in? North Pacific. Okay, you don't need to know the latitude and longitude. Um, the state is actually 6,000 square miles. The island of Hawaii is 4,000 square miles. There are 132 island region shows that go all the way to Curie. It, what islands are the National uh, Marine Cemetery, uh, Sanctuary extending from Nihua to Kure? What do we call all our islands to the north? The North Northwest Hawaiian Northwest Islands. Do you know that beyond them, it goes another thousand miles and it goes up under the Aleutian Islands? Those are all the undersea mountains that were formed right here and they are called the Emperor Sea Mountains. Okay, when I went met with some natives in um, Anchorage, they live on the second, you know, the Aleutian Islands. They live on the second to the closest island to Russia. They're, they call themselves Unanga. They call themselves the northernmost Hawaiian island <laughs> because the, our chain goes right under them. And they have the same, they're in the same time zone as us. They're the same time. The rest of Anchorage is an hour ahead they're the same time zone as us because they're straight above us. The state capital, of course, is? Honolulu. Okay, the privately owned island that is still owned by the Robinson family is? Iihau. Okay, and then the other privately owned island that's owned by Castle and Cook is? Lanai. Okay, three highest mountains. Did you get it right? Did you guys get it right? No, what did you miss? Haleakala. Mauna Kea is 13,006 something. Mauna Loa is 13,000, a little less. And um, 13,680. Haleakala is 10,000. Okay, so those are the three highest mountains. Okay, um, what else? You don't have the channels, right? Okay, because I don't know what Mount Creek did. She printed the channels. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now that's all she did. I have the rest in a packet. And like I said, if you want information, the rest of it is about the islands, colors, and flowers, and all about our islands, Hawaii. Okay, when I taught Hawaiian language, Hawaiian studies, and modern history of Hawaii, every student that I taught had to memorize all of this. Why? And when you go away, people are going to ask. 
need to be, every kid in Hawaii needs to know at least this much. Okay. Uh, Nihau, what is the, well, that's, that's hard. What is the capital C? Kuvai, it's called Kuvai, which means heart. What is the color for Nihau? White. And what is the flower? It's not even a flower. Nihau Shia. Okay. Kauai, capital city is? Likure. Color is? And flower is? Another thing that's not a flower. What is it? Mokihana, it's a green berry. And you really, you don't wear it against your skin because uh, it burns. Or if you wear it on clothes, it stains. So what do they do? They wrap it in the small leaf mile from um, Kauai. Okay, we all know Oahu's capital is Honolulu. What is the color? Yellow. And what is the flower? Ilima. 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 Um, Mary Monarch is coming up the, the second week of April. So you're going to see all of these ladies and everything. Okay, Molokai's capital is? Kaunakakai. What is the color? And what is the flower? It's a flower, but it's also a nut. Kukui. Kukui. Okay, and it's also the state tree. Lanai's capital is? Lanai City. Do we know the color? Orange. Orange. And do we know the flower? Again, it's not a flower. Oh. It's a crawling vine. It's an air plant. It's called Kaunaoa. Okay? Kaunaolave's color is ahina hina or gray. And the flower is not a flower. It's the hina hina plant, but it does have a flower. The hina hina that we see the drape, it's actually donkey's tail. That's not the true hina hina. Okay, and Maui's color, Maui's capital is? Kahului. It's not. What is it? Wainuku. Wainuku. And the color is? And the flower is? The rose. And of course, our capital is? Our color is? And our flower is? Delehua. Okay. Now, culture and language. There is a whole handout that, I, as I said, was given to the all teachers in the state, and it has all the colors. It has some um, some hints for the new teachers. Take off your slippers. Um, it's disrespectful to point at things using your feet. Don't hit anybody on the head. Whenever you go to somebody's house, bring something. Okay. Um, it has ethnic terms. It talks about pidgin English. It has hints for behavior. It has colors and, and it has social phrases in Hawaiian and in Pidgin. What is how Oli Makahiki ho? Happy New Year. And of course, you know Mele Kuhiki Maka. What is mahalo? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I bet you all know at least 20 Hawaiian words. Tell me some. What? Kalipa. Kalipa. Ono. 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 What is the first word every baby learns for his body or her body? Opu, that's not the first one. What is the first one? What are they curious about? Pico. Okay. How many kids do not know that your this is actually your navel or your belly button until they're really big? Because they don't try it. Right? Okay, so anyway, this has all kinds of stuff like this, like Akamai and and phrases like I don't care, and just all kinds of stuff like that. So if you want this again, you can email me. Okay, let me get this back on. Okay, because now we're going to go to the hula. Okay, Okay, we're just going to look at the words for this song, and this is not the dance that I'm actually going to teach you, but this is a song that is really good for you to know because this is how everybody learns. Say ho olohe mai. That means listen to me. Okay, listen. And my means it's coming to you. Say ho opili no. Ho opili no. Ho 
opili is to imitate, or opili is to make, pili means to be close, so it's to, to take it in to, to you. Okay? Ho'ohana mau. Ho'ohana is to work, ho'ohana is to actually make a word active, so it's to make somebody work. And ho'opuka. Ho'opuka. That's to emerge, okay? So puka, now you gotta remember this. Puka is not a hole in the ground. Puka is a hole that goes through. What is a hole in the ground? Huh? <laughs> what word do we use for bathroom? Lua. Lua. That's a hole in the ground. Puka is a hole that goes through. Or when something emerges. Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna do the music to this, but I want you to learn the motions to these words. Ho odohe. Put your one hand. I mirror me, mirror me. Mirror me means yes. this way. No. <laughs> Left ear. Okay. Ho olohe. Listen to me. So ho olohe mai. The other side. Ho olohe mai. Ho opili. Take what I'm giving you and own it. Say ho opili no. Ho opili no. Okay. Ho ohana mau. Other side. Ho ohana mau. In other words, mau means like forever. Practice it until you get it. Okay, and then ho'opuka, emerge. Ho'opuka e. Okay, one more time. E ho'olohe, ho'olohe mai. E ho'opili, ho'opili ho. E ho'ohana, ho'ohana mau. E ho'opuka, ho'opuka e. Okie do. So it, it's... <coughs> We don't have time to do the whole thing. If we have time, we'll come back to it. Okay, so listen and observe, mimic and repeat, do what was done, produce and let your knowledge emerge. Okay, we're going to do Ehuli Mako. Let's say the words first. Ehuli, Ehuli Mako. Okay, what is Huli? Turn. Okay, so when you do this again, you are going to mimic me. So, you need to stand up in your face. Then after that, you're going to go in the back, okay? So we're going to do it this way. We're going to put left hand on the hill, right hand up here, and we're going to go this way, okay? Yes. So just take your right foot and go put it over your left. Then we're going the other way. Okay, now look at the other words. What is komaka? So you're going to go your eyes. What is kolima? Your hands. And what? Kokina. Your body. Okay? When the only thing you do is they're real rascal. Okay? When you watch them do this. So now wait. Somebody's going to help me figure this out. I don't know how to turn on the music. Okay? Second verse. What is imwa? <coughs> to go forward. Okay? So we're going to go same again, hands on the hip and this way. And we're going to go imwa. Imwa mako. Again. Imwa. Imwa mako. Your eyes. Ko maka. Ko lima. Ame ko kino. And then he aloha. Okay, what is he aloha e? What is it? Express your love. Okay, next verse. <coughs> what is ihope? Backwards. So you're going to do this again. Okay, ihope. Ihope mako. Ihope. Ihope mako. Ko maka, ko lima, me ko kino, e, e aloha mai, e aloha e. Now you can find this on the internet. So when you have to do a kuna for your college luau, you can do this. Okay, wait, I gotta find the music now. Hello. Oh, I know, we forgot the last verse. Haina. What is haina? Tell the refrain, my story is over. Left hand on hip, haina from your mouth out, haina in a mai, 
Ehuli, Ehuli Mako, Komaka, Konima, Nikokino, E Aloha. Go in the back, we've got plenty of room. <laughs>
Okay. Okay. These guys can meet you. I can't. Oh, okay. You're in the middle. Okay. 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 This is your test.
cannot allow intellectual pathway without fostering lifelong learning and curiosity, you have nothing. Ooko is achievement, helping generations to attain academic, social, and cultural excellence. We did honua, kuana ike, providing, and this is what we do in Hawaii, we provide a solid grounding in a Hawaiian worldview that promotes contributions to local and global communities. Okay, that's my contact information. And if anybody wanted the, um, uh, the brochure. If anybody wanted the um, the brochure with all these pathways, I have some. This is from uh, 